Bob! Howdy hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with True Blue Blur. Long time no see. And also Batman. Grr. <laughs> uh, so you said you had something fun to mention. I said I had something <laughs> I also want to mention. Uh, who do you want to go first? Um, probably you, because you're probably more likely to forget than me. Probably. <laughs> this is true. Uh, so something, actually Juliana mentioned this, because I, I think I've also brought this up at one time. Okay. Um, but since I have the opportunity to basically... Um, make the new network website in my mm -hmm. image essentially yeah um however i want to do it uh we can have a section of the website for your art if you wanted to oh yeah okay. I, I think i've mentioned that in the past but juliana also uh, my, my girlfriend juliana also kind of mentioned that um as well yeah uh, okay. so if, if you wanted to we could probably pretty easily set that up okay um so i don't know what you think about that but i'm sure i can throw art up on the site thing about that is i'm very bad about remembering to do so right but i mean that's not necessarily a no <laughs> right yeah it's, it's more like uh as a way to like promote you a specific yeah. section of the site that people can go into like it shows your uh portfolio is that the right word i essentially yeah yeah so it's up to you of course but uh, and you, you said you had something more more fun and happy to talk about <laughs> yeah. than the virus. Yes, indeed. Um, my uh, partner and I are working on a novel, actually. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah, for sure. This is a lot of fun. Oh, sorry. What was that? Um, I, it's, it's a lot of fun. We're working on it pretty hard. Um, and it's been really interesting. Um, we... Oh. Scarecrow punched us with the stuff again. Oh, so dear. So you gotta do it again. Are you enjoying an extra dose of <laughs> Boy. Um, how, did he, how did he inject it into us? Uh, it flashed back to reality for a second and showed that Batman is actually, like, struggling physically with Scarecrow and he just jabbed it into our arm. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, the, the book that, you're, that, that your yeah. partner and you were writing... Um, um, is it more like, uh, is it like a it novel? Is, it is, we are planning on making a novel out of it, yes. It's a sci-fi fantasy. Ooh. Um, and our, uh, initial idea was simply, um, that Candace wanted to do something kind of like a magical girl storyline. She's very into Sailor Moon. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I am very into Power Rangers. They're pretty similar to each other, so we kind of uh, combined them into one thing. That's I gotta cool. remember how to fight these guys. Yeah, I think uh, you. Do you let them like charge at you first, or? And I. Oof. It's. It helps if I throw a batarang at them. Right. While they're charging. I think you have to, like... Oh, okay, yeah, so these ones aren't dumb enough to, like, hit that, the wall. There we go. That's oh. what I need. Okay, oh, he can't okay. see when I hit him, so... Then he hits the oh, wall. Oh, he just okay. instant died. Hmm. Um, anyway, um, we decided to go with a setting um, where, essentially, the, uh, the team of superheroes are demigods, and all of... Essentially, like, all of the pantheons of mythological gods are real in this world. Kind of like Percy Jackson, almost. I, yeah, only... God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with you there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and going through history and such, we kind of decided that if all of the gods were real, from not just, like, one or two pantheons, but all of the major ones... Um, Christianity would never have been able to get the, um, like, the control over the world that it kind of has, you know? Oh, yeah, probably not. Because, yeah. like, their whole thing is there's one god, and you can look around at all of the other gods kind of wandering around and be like, but what about them? <laughs> right, yeah. That's <laughs> so interesting. we went through, um, all of world history and kind of altered things as we felt logical as we went so we were poring over history for weeks <laughs> and kind of writing our own version um that is uh 
in a lot of ways not so different, and in a lot of other ways very different. Hmm. So the I am Batman. <laughs> so the um uh so so with this uh story idea. Yes. Um so who who's like the the main the the main pantheons you're going I'm guessing like Egyptian, um Greek. Somewhat we well we decided that without the Christian influence a lot of the settlers would have shown up at different times for different reasons. Um, so the, uh, majority of, uh, North America, which is not called that, mm -hmm. is Aztecs. Ooh. Um, that's cool. They, uh, ended up making an alliance with the Scandinavians after they sort of stopped pillaging. Um, and then it wasn't until after that happened that the conquistadors showed up. Um, so, and since the conquistadors were not Catholic, they were, um, what were they? Were they Celtic? I can't remember for sure. Um, essentially, since they were pagan, um, they didn't have quite the uh, aversion to the customs of the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. um, so they didn't go, oh no, genocide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's pretty much the only reason they did it was their kind of catholic viewpoint was like what you you have all these rituals that are different than ours mm -hmm. and i mean you know admittedly they did have some cannibalism but and, and <laughs> well so one, one of the interesting things about like catholicism mm -hmm. is it's very so christianity specifically has always been really good at taking like either secular ideas or ideas from other religions mm -hmm. and like bringing them into it it's true yes and it's true. Basically, most of the christian holidays are that right uh so christian holidays um you see uh like christian rock for example they're uh -huh. very good at taking other things from from secular and other religious it's cultures very true and just they yeah so they that, really are they, they assimilate a lot of things into themselves yeah in order to essentially help them uh convert those around them is essentially why they do it yeah so it's funny because because like a catholic from mexico right now has much different practices than and uh, a catholic from ireland absolutely so it's it's very very different is and they're also different than an, a catholic from say like thailand right yep or for Viet sure or in vietnam absolutely so but uh yeah so, that, sounds, that sounds interesting i do like alternate history type stuff uh -huh. so yeah so that's that's kind of where we are where uh, our, our main characters there's nine characters on the team um taking a cue from sailor moon they're all women uh and in in the uh, spirit of power rangers they all wear uh tights and helmets wonderful <laughs> yes I excellent did, i did put some armor plating on their tights <laughs> um kind of more like the power rangers movie from uh, the 90s. I liked that movie a lot. I don't think I ever actually watched that movie. Oh, yeah. It was... I, I was never, like, super into it. Like, whenever Power Rangers kind sure. of came on, I would watch it. But, like, I was never, like, super into it. You That's know? definitely fair. Yeah. <laughs> Power Rangers, like, Turbo was the only one I ever, like, sat and, like, watched. Oh, really? Or Dino Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Power um, Rangers Dino Thunder. I've actually been um, re-watching through the series so that I can have more info and stuff to work with for this mm -hmm. um and it's surprising how um truly truly bad the writing is <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like i mean growing up you're like man this is you know this is corny but you know it's still fun yeah. Rewatching it now i'm like <laughs> yeah was this ever good <laughs> yeah i i can still appreciate the uh the campiness of it right it's still lots of fun but their actual storylines um cause you physical pain <laughs> yeah like i remember when i was watching like power rangers turbo right yeah so uh, so far on my rewatch that's been probably my least favorite yeah um, i remember there was like the the kid like the blue yeah, ranger dude. who like grows when, when he, he transforms morphs. yeah yes it's even then i was like this is weird it was <laughs> because is... like 
on top of being awkward looking and uh, the fact that child actors are just hard to work with because they don't really know what they're doing Mm -hmm. aside from all of that the sheer level of irresponsibility (laughs) yeah absolutely like okay teenagers that's a little iffy but sure but this kid was 10 i think maybe 13 at most teenager only by technicality He, he was like the tech guy though right yeah he was he was in the same grade as them because he was a prodigy right okay because i knew that there was i think he he was like the tech guy he was like it's always the blue ranger solving all their problems isn't it um it is a fairly common thing it's not in every single season i've noticed but it's pretty common yeah um so yeah it's been interesting (laughs) rewatching. so scarecrow just just straight up died um he should have but i doubt he actually did okay so Killer Croc is is, is oh, not okay. on their side at, at all. He's not really right? on a side. He's just okay. kind of him. Is there anything over there? I don't see. Yeah, okay, there. Oh, look, a thing. Indeed. I have a feeling that's going to, like, oh, okay. I was going to, like, those <laughs> those are going to, like, break. Right. No, they, they're they pretty sturdy. Yeah. S- survival tactics. That's okay. a, a challenge mission. Oh, they're totally okay. unnecessary. Hmm. So what what turned Killer Croc into Killer Croc? Um, I don't assuming. actually know his backstory. Okay. Um, part of it is a skin condition. Part of it is um, so much more because it's comic books. Right. Comic books are convoluted. They always, always are. And it's part of what makes them so glorious. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I was never really super into comic books, to be honest. Yeah. So, I mean, my... It's part of, like, the public consciousness. I think, like, even before, like, the Marvel movies, right? Like, a lot of it was still part of the public consciousness. Yeah. Because a lot of the nerds still made most of the media, I yeah, would say. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because, um, I mean, there's there's still, like, in Dexter's lab, you know, they had, like, the, the Justice something or other, right? The, there was, I like, don't the, remember what it was called, but was, like, I do know what There was, like, the Speeding Bullet about. and Valhalla and then Kronk or Kronk, <laughs> Krank, Krunk or something. It was something like something that. Something like yeah. that, yeah. Um. Where does this go? And there, there was those. And I, even then, when I was a kid, I realized that those were um, parodies of mm-hmm. essentially the Avengers. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think everybody kind of like, uh, you know, most people got that probably, I would imagine. Yeah, for sure. Even though back then, it's it's so hard to think that like the Marvel movies like oh, aren't part out. of the public consciousness. <laughs> you know, back then it's so weird to think now because it's yep. been they've been going for like what 10 years yes they have oh, something goodness. like that possibly more um yeah and there was a time when they were just not that big yeah because i mean you know there was a time when marvel movies were the sucky ones yeah <laughs> um, they, i mean what with iron man they weren't expecting that to be successful um n- not nearly to the level that it was like yeah. they they expected to be able to do some stuff with it like they they gave it an end credit scene and tied it in with the hulk movie and that end credit scene um so they were trying but they didn't think it was going to be this yeah i remember hearing a like behind the scenes sort of thing where it was like yeah we had no idea what the story was going to be like day to day right we were just kind of like showing up and they were just like oh yeah do this and like the whole even i am i am iron man thing at the very end was like unplanned yeah it was literally just robert downey jr just doing a thing did you do that it was a cut scene oh okay so he did that on purpose yeah why did he waste it why did he why did he waste the bat gel it's infinite dude now is not the time. oh i see <laughs> now is not the time Got oh it. so is it like he's gonna use that later or something he he set a trap for croc mm. i think i'm supposed to lure him onto it gotcha I also send sound waves through the water giving away my position to croc i'll need to move as slowly as <laughs> oh as i run <laughs> i was like okay so i'll hurry <laughs> Try not to die over there. I know, yeah. That, that, you, <laughs> you just gave me COVID-19. I like, knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Even at like all, all week, my girlfriend and I have been joking like, um, about that essentially. Just yeah. like, don't touch me, you have COVID-19 or don't touch me, you have coronavirus. <laughs> or like, don't, don't get, you know, in the, in the, you know, the, the small I ways know, that you do, but it's, it's, it's like, um, I'll come up and like 
you know, you, you know how you do sometimes you like walk by and you like touch each other or something. She'll be like, you just gave me coronavirus. <laughs> <Of> you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> of course, you know, you got to keep, uh, you got you to gotta be as playful as possible sometimes, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's definitely true. Sometimes a little macabre humor <laughs> to get you through. How strange that all these are set up in just the right way. Well, I mean, they're lining literally every area. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I'm quite sure it was intentional. It's not... This is not one of those video game coincidences. Yeah. They, well, this was actually set up so that people could walk around. Oh, okay. Hmm. So... I have no idea where I'm going. So the, the, the whole jumping off the gate thing? Well, didn't... There, there are locks on those gates. If you have the key, you just open it. Oh, okay. But he does not have the key. But, like, but like he, we're supposed to, like, not make ripples in the water. And, like, he literally jumped back onto the platform. Yes. Yes, that, that is a thing. That's one of those gameplay mechanics that makes no sense. So I wonder what would happen if he just literally just, like, ran. Um, I do think if you do it long enough, it'll summon him. Really? I think so. Like, the little bit that I did earlier obviously wasn't a death sentence. Oh, there's a loading screen there. It's, you can't see it because it's behind you, but there's a loading screen there. <laughs> this is going to take forever. <laughs> oh. Hi. Uh, I'm not sure um, what to do. Run? <laughs> Just keep running? But he's where I need to go. Oh, he's going to he's gonna break right through that, isn't he? Probably. Uh, what? I think oh, the... I'm trying to get him to the trap that I set. So maybe you should have... Um... Oh, he's a lot closer than oh. I thought he was. Maybe maybe you <laughs> should have summoned him sooner. I suppose so, but I'm almost there anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we need to, like... Oh, is he not? It didn't... The music stopped. He's not chasing you anymore? Apparently not. So, what are you supposed to do? Probably that. I think maybe it just counted as me escaping him. Uh... 90 something what is, meters what what are you yelling about yeah so what's that about the meters i don't know what is this mechanic okay i think so long as we like well that's not good uh oh what's happening there come on please follow me okay come on come on come on is he okay yeah are we supposed to make like explosive gel? Huh. I don't know. I don't either. Are we, are we supposed to put explosive gel like on one of those? I doubt it. I don't have. He can only do three at a time, and you put all three there. Huh. <clears throat> so, what do you do? Uh. Okay, he just said something. Um, okay, let's run. Running, 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 running. Okay, maybe you're supposed to like keep him close enough or something. Maybe. Okay. Which I didn't seem to do. All right. What the heck? Well, I guess we'll figure it out in the next episode. Okay. So this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. And we have Batman. Indeed. <laughs> have a great day. Keep on running fast.